Good morning everyone and welcome to today's video. So today's video is another book review um, and today's book review is on A Waffle Lot of Murder, um, part of the All Day Cafe Breakfast Series um, by Lena Gregory. And um, just a quick disclaimer, this book has been provided for me free of charge uh, through Kensington Publishing, netgallery.com, and Lena Gregory, the author, for the sole purpose of this book review, which is on netgallery.com, my YouTube channel here, Life with Lena, and the accompanying blog, Life with Lena, PSV, at blog, Blogger. Alright, so, without further ado, let's get started. fall and Gia, the owner of the All Day Breakfast Cafe, is missing New York and the changing of the seasons where she could tell that the seasons were changing. And I mean, I get that. I lived in the state of Washington where it could be wet and drizzly and cold year round and you really weren't sure what month it was unless you looked at your calendar. So Gia has received, once again, a letter from the city council and has been putting off opening it. And her friend Savannah, like any true friend would do, opens it for her and reads it. And it isn't bad news. It's an, it's an invitation to participate in the annual Haunted Town Festival that supports the animal shelter by having a haunted house and a table to promote her business. Hey, awesome. No, bad news is not good. Good news always a good thing. Good news in her letter, that's great for Gia. Gia has her feelings on this. Nerves, and she's not really too into this. Savannah, who is her best friend, Cole, one of her employees, and Earl, a customer and friend, all convince her to do it. Okay, they really don't give her much of an option here because Savannah takes it into her hands to call and confirm that Gia is in fact going to be doing the haunted house on the table. Yeah, this sounds like a lot of things that one of my friends would do. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure I would do that. Yep, you're going to do it and here we go. Okay then. So while Savannah is on the phone, Cole and Earl are coming up with food ideas for her table along with even a pet friendly option because Gia has a dog and it's for the pet shelter, the animal shelter. I mean, hello, those are going to sell like hotcakes. Hot, get it? Hotcakes? All day breakfast buffet? But uh, bing! Okay. So later that evening, Savannah and Gia are on their way to see their house. Um, for the haunted house and meet up with one of the organizers, Barbara. Barbara is always on time. Always on time. And she's late. Okay. Things happen. Things come up. No big deal. So eventually Savannah starts to call her phone and they find the phone outside in the bushes where they also run into one of the other event organizers, Jenny, who offers to go ahead and give them the tour that Barbara was supposed to go ahead and do. So Savannah and Gia walk through the house and they make plans for a dormitory theme, which later kind of gets changed into a haunted hospital theme. Okay, I'm going to admit, like, when I first was reading this and they were talking about, like, a haunted dormitory, I will say that, like, I had this, like, horror movie, like, killer comes out of like closet type thing going on but then they switched to a haunted hospital and that's like even worse um because I've been in a hospital at night when there's like no one else around and it is creepy so I mean like perfect for a really long narrow house perfect thing eh. no 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 I'm no I'm scared okay back to the review so they are actually approved on the spot by Jenny for doing a dormitory and then she's later approves the um, switch to a haunted hospital on the spot. It's nothing that anyone has ever done and she thinks it's a great idea. So as they, they're, Jenny, Jenny leaves and Savannah and Gia are kind of walking, meandering, meandering through getting ideas, coming up with plans. They walk out the door and they are met by the red and blue emergency lights. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. So, police, ca police Captain Hunter Quinn, who happens to be Savannah's cousin and Gia's boyfriend, arrives on the scene and tells Gia that she is just a magnet for trouble and a bad influence on Savannah. 
we all have that one friend who's a bad influence on us, I think. As the questions keep coming at the two, finally Gia gets what has happened. There's This was no accident. Barbara didn't die of natural causes. Brenda has been murdered. Sorry, Barbara. Barbara has been murdered. I don't know why I called her Brenda. Barbara. Barbara is the name of the character who was murdered. Barbara. So the suspects in the case are as follows. Jenny, who is an associate of Barbara's. Jeb, who did security out at the festival site because people were coming in and out. They were working on their houses and they didn't want things tampered with. Alfie, who is a friend of Barbara's. Mike Smith, he does year-round maintenance at the uh, festival grounds. And Kayla Claiborne, a friend of Jenny, but was jealous of Barbara's friendship with Jenny and, quite frankly, really rude. So, as the town of Boggy Creek, New York, is buzzing with this latest murder and wondering if the Haunted Festival will even be allowed to continue, all, Gia's all-day breakfast cafe is at the center point for gossip. I mean... I grew up in a small town. I know exactly where the, if I'm looking for information on something, I know exactly where to go. It's Wendy's in the morning because all of the farmer guys are there and they know every bit of gossip better than their wives do. Not going to lie. I remember growing up and there was also a saying, your parents will know what you did before you can even come up with a cover story. I never really had that problem because I was the good girl growing up. So, hashtag small town living. And on top of that, Mike Smith, who is uh, considered a suspect at this point, has now gone missing. So, the investigation is continuing. Every time Gia and Savannah turn around, there is Kayla Claiborne spew spewing that the festival should be allowed to continue no matter what, as well as Kayla continues to bash the police department for continuing to ask questions. Okay, I mean, they have to ask questions, right? I mean, really. They can't just sit there and go, hmm, this person's guilty. All right, Dan, bye, all right, let's go grab coffee and donuts. That's not how it works. Then, Gina and Savannah go to check on Jenny one evening, and Jenny rushes them off the phone, and then a few seconds later, she is watching Jeb out of her house, and he is telling someone on his phone she doesn't have it. Okay, what could it be. All right. So you want to know what happens at the end? Yep. That's right. You're just going to have to read the book. So make sure to get a waffle lot of murder out today by Lena Gregory. It is, um, a part of the series, the all day breakfast cafe series, and you definitely don't want to miss any of them. You do not need to read the previous ones to understand this one, but you may get a little bit better feel for the characters if you do. So huge thanks again to Net Gallery, Kensington Publishers, and Lena Gregory for this amazing opportunity. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.